Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in again today. Today I thought we'd do a little something different. It's another little thing I picked up at the Dollar Tree and it's a spiral art um, little gadget, if you will. Um, I don't know if any of you remember the spirographs uh, that came in the red box and it had the big circle with a bunch of little circles, um, these little disc type shapes and you created all these cute little um, spiral spiral graphic art if you will so I thought okay we'll just pick up this little gadget from the Dollar Tree and see if it works anything like the original so let's just get her open here and see what's doing it's a cute little plastic carrying case type system here and you've got your little outward and your little, um, uh, little disc inside. That's a cute little bow snip on the bottom there. Isn't that adorable? Alright, let me grab some paper here and we'll just get this thing open. There we go. Let's just take off our plastic wrap here. And what we wind up with then are four little different types of spindles. We've got a large round one. We've got ourselves an oblong one here. We have a little squared one. Don't remember having a squared one in the others. And then we have a smaller round one. And then our little spirograph art do that itself is on a hinge so that you can put your paper in and out. Alrighty, and I got some of my fun Sharpies. Let's just see what happens here. We're going to go with the big guy first. And then basically what you do is put your tip in a spot there. Change colors. Let's just see what we got here. Throwing markers all over the floor. That's what I'm doing. That's what I do best. Oh my gosh, I love it. It works. And the outer holes. Hmm, not doing such a great job there. Hold on one second, please. All right, we're going to try it in one of the outer holes. Oh, hello. Look at all the glare we have here. All the glare peeps. All right, see if we can keep this a little bit of this. Nope. All right, yeah, we've changed out our paper. Let's just throw this on in here and see. Let's see, we'll go with an inner circle. Those seem to be the easiest. Pretty darn good. It may not just work with um, my markers so much. Let's just try it with an actual pen. 
And we're going to go in one of the outer circles and see what happens. It's definitely louder than I remember my spirograph being, and that's probably because it's sitting on a hollow plastic. And when you go into the outer shapes, it doesn't work so smoothly. But when you get into the inner shapes, you get it to go around rather nicely. All right, let's just change our paper. Flip it over if we will. Let's try the oval. Like I said, I don't remember the original having an oval. Sorry about my lighting. I'm trying something different here, so hopefully it's not so bad. Okay, not, not digging the oval too much there. Let's grab us a new piece of paper. Oh my, I flipped that piece over and the ink was still wet. And uh, so we've got a little design now on our spiral art machine. -y. No worries. And did, did, did we try the square? I can't remember if we tried the square, but we're going to try the square again. And this time we're going to try a Sharpie again. So... And we're going to go with the center. It looks to me like that's just repeating itself. Instead of doing something new. Whoa, hello. I didn't get crazy. Okay, I'm not going to call it success on the odd shapes. I'm going to say squares and circles. Uh, or squares and ovals don't have the best impact on these. So far the best one has been this huge one here. A little bit more control over it as it goes around. Definitely gives us our better, better working shape with a pretty design. All right. All in all, guys, I think the spiral art is a success. These three um, different templates here uh, might have been just me and uh, the way I was doing it, but they didn't seem to want to stay in the cogs and do their thing. This time, of course... Did fantastic. Let's um, do another color here before we head out in one of the outer rings again. And let's just see. Okay, my fault here lies in my marker. I doesn't want to cooperate. Whoa, hello. I can just go over there. Maybe I just need to slow down a bit. Come on, that was one way to get it off of there. Alrighty, um, not so bad. I'd say overall this is a nice little contraption there for your little ones if you wanted to purchase something to keep them busy uh, definitely does what it used to do all right everybody thanks for stopping in have a great day and we'll see you in the next video take care bye bye